this is one of my uh, homemade masks. As you can see, I like to use different colors and prints. Anyway, I wanted to make a video about something um, about an hour ago, but I thought I'd better wait. So I went for a dog walk because it's not a video I should be making with a full stomach. <laughs> anyway, this is about my my never-ending obsession with South Florida real estate. I just cannot stop researching South Florida real estate. And of course, um, the only affordable thing is a rental of an apartment or a condo or a studio or a trailer. So, I keep telling myself there's things you cannot do in an apartment that you can do here, right here in North Central Florida. For example, this is a, a ram's horn, actually an Ibex. And years ago, I bought this because it's biblical and it's commanded to sound it uh, during celebrations and on the Sabbath and on holidays and if you're in danger and if you're celebrating. So I practiced a lot. I practiced a lot for years. And now I could sound it pretty good. Um, I have uh, visitors sometimes, relatives, and they can't make one sound with it, even though they're big, big, muscular guys. Anyway, this isn't something you should do after eating a full meal because you're using your diaphragm, you're using your lungs. It's like a, an opera singer. They are not supposed to be singing on a full stomach. Now, there's no mouthpiece here. No mouthpiece. Some people cheat and they put a horn mouthpiece in it, you know, like a trumpet mouthpiece. Anyway, how could I use this in an apartment complex? Can you imagine? Although, I could probably sound it softly. Let me try that. Well, that's not too loud, right? But anyway, why should I be restricted? You know, if I wake up at 4 in the morning and I want to listen to some educational YouTube video, I, why should I be afraid that the neighbor next door is going to, to hear me through the wall? And I believe that there are smells that come through the wall, and right now I have a hard time with my neighbor's laundry, which is about eight feet from my fence, because they use this very heavily scented uh, fabric softener, and I, I'm just accustomed now to natural food and natural fresh air and so I can't imagine what if uh, the smell of smoke from cigarettes comes through the apartment walls. So to buy a house in South Florida and I'm talking anywhere from Key West to let's say Hollywood, Florida, I mean it, I, I don't think you could do it for, for less than 300,000 and the ones that are 300,000 are not in a good good shape. So here I am. The Almighty must have a reason. I know that uh, what I've read from uh, religious books is if, if the Almighty has made your life very comfortable, very easy, um, that you don't have to struggle, that you're able to do hobbies and, and do many different things and study for hours and hours. It's so you could concentrate on important things, spiritual things. So um, I, I keep going back and forth. And then, you know, um, I'll have this whole list in my mind of how wonderful it is here. 
peaceful and clean and not too crowded. Um, then I then I find myself the next day uh, looking up uh, South Florida real estate again. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm sure the Almighty can use all this studying for something good. Something. Just yesterday I read online that besides Zika and besides the coronavirus, that now there are cases popping up in Miami-Dade County of the West Nile virus again. So, um, it, it's just incredible. I also read that um, Miami and Miami Beach are sinking about four millimeters a year, just sinking in, into, into the ocean. Now, four, mil, four millimeters is about the width of a nickel, but just the idea that your, your investment, uh, your, your, your real estate is just sinking, I mean, it's, it's, it's just amazing. And what about uh, these cemeteries? Um, you know, you're going to be buried somewhere, and then, then what? You're finally uh, a mermaid, you know, you're living in water, you know? <laughs> I mean, it, it's just, the, the way the world is now, and things that have happened, it's just unbelievable. Uh, in fact, there's people that don't even believe it. They think, you know, everything we're hearing is not true. So what can we do? Try to use things for good. Try to be an encourager. Keep studying. And be very careful what you decide to do because um, you might get trapped in something that you can't get out of. And count your blessings. I'll keep trying.